Well, before we it just came on the air, I was a little confused. We're going to talk about uh, a great event that comes up in Norfolk, the Haystack Book Festival. It's coming up October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And uh, I was wondering whether this was the uh, first, second, or third year. Uh, and it is the second year, but that's because of COVID last year. We have the co-chair on the line with us right now. Uh, and... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, this year's Haystack Book Talk. So Michael Selleck is with us. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, along with uh, Michael, Steve uh, Melville is also a co-chair of this event. And as I said, uh, you had to take a hiatus last year because of COVID-19, but you're back this year. Uh, and I guess... Uh, We'll talk about the, the beginning stages of this uh, for people that are listening. The uh, Haystack Book Talks, October 1st through 3rd. You you must register for all events uh, in person and virtual. Uh, more information at norfolkfoundation.net slash book hyphen talks. Uh, let's talk about how this series was formulated uh, and and what what its intentions were and what was the first like first year like was did it come across like you thought it would uh, or was it even better or more inclusive michael no the first year was a, a great success and i think it came off much better than we even ever imagined um, the whole idea of our festival is to bring writers into conversation writers who have who who write about similar ideas but maybe have a different differing point of view so our first year was um and a lot of the um, conversations were about authors in translation and what translation meant. And um, it went off very, very well. You know, and, I, I think books, uh, I, want, I hate to interrupt here, but I think uh, books are so important in just about everybody's lives. And I think when people get a chance to explore not only the books, but the person or the persons behind the books uh, and, and, and answer some questions they may have lingering in their mind, is is a is a feast that can't be denied for these people. That's true. It's, <laughs> books are very important in our lives. I think. I think we all do. We we all agree on that. Well, it was great that you had that first year that was so great, and then of course uh, last year the pandemic it just about affected everything. But this year, uh, once again, it opens up uh, at six p.m. on October first, and this opens up with the Brendan Gill lecture. Let's talk a little bit about this. Yeah. So so Brendan Gill. Um, as you know, was a, uh, at the um, New Yorker magazine for many, many years. He had a very big career there. Um, he contributed short stories, profiles. You know, he was successively the movie theater and architectural critic. But he had a home here in Norfolk, and he was a great supporter of the literary arts here. So we decided to kick off the festival with honoring him um, with this lecture. And this year we have Robert Jones, Jr., best-selling author of a very critically acclaimed novel called The Prophet. So he'll be coming here. He's a, a New York City writer, and this is a, a you know, just an incredible, stunning um, novel about, about life on a plantation told from the point of view of the slaves living there, but also told from the point of view of the um, landowners. So you get a very different 360 perspective, but mostly a, a perspective on how slaves were treated. It's it's interesting. Uh, once again, we're talking about uh, this year's event, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, uh, put on uh, by the Norfolk Foundation, and that is uh, uh, the Haystack Book Festival. Uh, once again, a reminder, uh, more information is available, norfolkfoundation.net slash book hyphen talks. Uh, and all these are happening at the Norfolk Library, right? Yes, yeah, so we have, we, we have events happening basically in three different places. The Norfolk Library will hold up to 60 people. We have to register, of course, proof of vaccination and mask required. We then have a, a large screen television at the Norfolk Hub where we'll be able to host another 25 people if they choose to watch it on large screen. And then the entire festival will be live, live streamed, so you can watch it from the comfort of your own home if that's what you prefer to do. And if you want to, if you uh, want any information on how to do any one of these events, 
just go to the website. And by the way, when we put this interview up online at uh, RobinHoodRadio.com on demand, we will have all those links and all the information there along with this interview. So you open up with a real interesting topic uh, and, uh, and actually a presentation of the Brendan Gill Lecture. Before we go on to talk about uh, that, and that is on October 1st, how do you select the participants in this? Uh, is it a committee that sits down and hashes, and hashes this out? Yeah, what we do is we, we come together quite early, and we have a, a committee of, say, 10, 12 people, and we start sharing ideas, you know, books that we've read, books that we've heard about, authors that we like, um, topics that we're interested in, and we sort of, through a process of conversation, that bring it down to, I think we have nine authors, um, to, not to jump ahead, but just the way the festival is organized, of course, we kick off with the Brendan Gill Lecture, yeah. which is a singular author event, as we just mentioned. And then on Saturday, we have three events that are all writers in conversation. So this is unmoderated, um, two to three writers on stage in unmoderated conversation. And then Sunday is our quote-unquote nature day, and that is um, co-sponsored by the Norfolk Land Trust. And we start off with a bird watch at Dennis Hill here in Norfolk, and then follow up with a, a virtual presentation from David Allen Sibley, the ornithologist and the author of the Sibley Bird Guide. Yeah, I want to go back to the uh, the uh, October 2nd to Saturday event, Freedom in Black and White. Uh, you've got a, a, a different set of people that are there. Uh, Tyler uh, Stovall, author of The White Freedom, Racial History of an Idea, will be in conversation with uh, Manisha uh, how did you pronounce that last name? Manisha Singha. Singha. And, and what is uh, Manisha's book? Her book is The Slave's Cause, which is the history of abolition. And it's a very well-written book that looks at abolition from the perspective of the slaves and, and from, from that part of history as opposed to um, abolition being a, a, a white person's idea but as a, a black person's idea. And, you know, it's very interesting what's happened in the past year and a half uh, or two years over the corner. Salisbury School did uh, a, a very, very, uh, a, one of the classes opened up and did an investigation into black slaves in our area. Uh, and, and we have actually so many different ties in between our northwest corner and south county of Massachusetts with important people and events uh, in in race, especially black, that I think, that the Saturday, October 2nd uh, feature, I think is really important, especially in the times we're in right now. I think it's incredibly important. Um, it's just, uh, I, I just, and, and and for people to exchange and hear ideas uh, are great. So that starts at 10 o'clock, but then at 12 noon, a soul admitted to itself. What is that about? Well, we're bringing together um, our Connecticut State Poet Laureate, Margaret Gibson, who of course has written a number of beautiful collections of poetry. Her most recent one is called The Glass Globe. And she'll be in conversation with Fenton Johnson, who is a novelist and um, memoirist, as well as an essayist and and a writer for a lot of um, journals. And his book is called At the Center of All Beauty. Um, And it's about um, the the life of the solitary writer, creative person. And he looks at various different people throughout history and um, combines them with his own solo travel experiences in his own writing, you know, how he works as a writer. So we'll be looking at sort of the, the writer's mental workshop, you know, how solitude plays a part in, in um, the writer's life. And I think that given the year that we've just been through, where, where you know, we've been, what have we been doing? We've been social distancing, we've been... Um, you know, sort of living life in kind of essential solitude. So we thought that this would be a great conversation to bring very timely for the... the, the uh, we're talking once again uh, about uh, the Haystack Book Festival, uh, which is coming up uh, for three days, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, at the uh, Norfolk Library put on by the Norfolk Foundation. Uh, and uh, we're on day number two, which is Saturday. And following the 12 noon presentation, you have another one. And this sounds pretty interesting, just looking at the title of it, at 2.30, The Hidden Lives of Ordinary Things. Yes. All right. This will be three authors um, who, will, who will share the stage. I'm Kim Adrian, Dinah Lenny, and Matthew Battle. So the, 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 this is a 
a, a series of books called the Object Lesson Series. And um, these three authors have written about very sort of the mundane objects in life and, and how magical they can be. One, Dinah's book is on coffee, Kim's book is on sock, and Matthew's book is on tree. And um, they achieve something, you know, it's almost close to magic. They take a sort of a banal, ordinary look at these objects and they animate them with, a, you know, sort of a history of invention, political struggle, science, popular mythology. So it's very interesting to, to it's going to be a fun conversation. And it's our first time with three authors on stage. And we'll go to Sunday because October 3rd, on Sunday, October 3rd, you have two different events. One is virtual only. Uh, the first one at 10 o'clock. I caught this morning's uh, minion, Kingdom of Daylight's uh, Dauphin, uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, that is the bird walk portion of it, right? Yes, that's a, a bird walk with Eileen Fielding, who's the director of the Sharon Audubon Center. Uh, and that is at 10 o'clock uh, once again. By the way, for all of these, uh, you can register uh, online at uh, norfolkfoundation.net slash book hyphen talks. Then you have a virtual event, which is coming up on Sunday the 3rd at 1 o'clock, what it's like to be a bird. Yes, David Allen Sibley, who is um, quite a well-known ornithologist and is the author of the Sibley Bird Guides, will be talking about his most recent book, What It's Like to Be a Bird, what birds are doing and why. And he explores all sorts of, you know, myriad of ways that birds have adapted to things like environmental changes and behavior and uh, psychology and looks at questions, you know, do robins hear worms or why don't birds fall out of trees when they sleep? It'll be very interesting. Now, I remind everybody that uh, these presentations are being made live in person, virtual, uh, and also, uh, if you just uh, if you uh, want to see it on the big screen, uh, it'll be at the Norfolk Hub. But a reminder also, even though we're coming out of the pandemic, uh, it's going to require proof of COVID-19 vaccination, use of masks while indoors, and also, it is subject to whatever federal, state, and local guidelines for safe conduct for in-person gatherings might be in effect at that time. So if you can keep traffic, track of that, uh, you'll be fine when it goes uh, goes there. So once again, uh, the easiest way for people to find out about this, obviously, would be the NorfolkFoundation.net website, right? Yeah, so it's www.NorfolkFoundation.net backslash book hyphen talk. We will keep updating that with updates um, every day that we have updates, so you can stay abreast of everything that's going on. Now, something I want to squeeze in here that we haven't hit yet, uh, but you also, on Saturday, October 2nd, in between 5 and 7.30, you're going to have a Meet the Author event? Yes, uh, between 5 and 7.30, we're going to have a, um, a what we're calling Haystack Under the Tents, and it will be an outside in the, a garden of one of our committee members on West Side Road, and you can um, purchase tickets to help support us on the website as well for that event. And uh, that website, once again, NorfolkFoundation.net. Well, I think this sounds like a, a, you've put together an interesting three days worth of uh, information and conversations about book for the first uh, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Uh, once again, uh, you can see this uh in three different ways, uh, at the hub, uh, be on the big screen. Uh, if you uh, are lucky enough to get a ticket and all the seats aren't filled live, and then also you can join it virtually as well. Well, once again, I want to thank you for joining us, Michael, and uh, good luck with this uh, this year's uh, book festival. And uh, hopefully your, four, your, your next one will be uh, right after this one next year. Yeah, hopefully. 2022.